Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kurtalag and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Last night we got pretty much a confirmation of what the theme of Season 5 is going to be. And today we're going to be going over everything in this video. You guys probably saw the anchor that is now on the map in Fortnite Battle Royale. It dropped out of the portal beside the mountain at Greasy. And taking this, taking the other information that we know, we're going to go over everything in this video. And uh, trust me, you guys don't want want to miss out on this really quick before we get into the video i do want to remind everybody watching that the red knight is only going to be available for a few more hours before it is gone forever and for those of you that may not have had a chance to actually buy the red knight or the crimson axe today we're going to be doing a red knight giveaway all you got to do to enter in is drop a like go ahead and smash a like on this video also subscribe to my channel turn on notifications and comment red knight season 5 hype in the comments down below also let me know your xbox psn instagram snapchat just any way to get in touch with you in the comments down below i'll hit you guys up very soon with the code just be posted make sure you stay on the watch for a message from your boy because i am going to be picking one person in the comments down below to hit up with a code for the red knight so make sure you go ahead and drop a like subscribe and comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video because like i said not only is is it awesome we got a lot of information so sit back relax and enjoy the ride the first thing we're gonna go ahead and go over today is also one of the more obvious things but I feel like I need you guys to go ahead and keep this fresh in your brain for the rest of this video I remember yesterday we did get the brand new anchor on the map in Fortnite Battle Royale this is pretty much the first teaser for season 5 I mean I guess you could say the first teasers were the five portals in tomato and greasy and all those those places but this is pretty much confirming a leak that we actually heard a few weeks ago and for those of you that aren't familiar with which leak I'm talking about way back before season four there was this guy named internet Adam and internet Adam was the person that pretty much leaked all of the information regarding season four like he leaked everything he told everybody what was going to be happening in season four and lo and behold months down the line this guy actually ended up being right well this whole crazy thing happened epic game actually sued internet Adam for giving away this information and he's back now this is actually a friend of internet Adams and uh, he brought back a leak for season 5 and uh, like I said the anchor pretty much confirms everything supposedly Lonely Lodge will slowly disappear until the only thing left is trees and the tower more dinosaur footprints will be scattered around lonely and plants will grow all over it thus naming it Jurassic jungle the tower will have vines hanging from it what was once the lodge will soon be a cave with dinosaur eggs a cave will also be found behind the small waterfall and chests can be found by the cave it's a lot of really crazy stuff but point blank period this uh, lonely lodge area is now going to be Jurassic jungle the motel will disappear and become the Wild West location and the motel will become a saloon by the saloon there will be a gel the gel is a small room about the size of the old motel the carriage Dead animals and horses will be littered around the area and the train rails with train and saloon will have chest and ammo boxes. And really quick, let me go ahead and pause here. Uh, the dude in this post made this post, like I said, about a month ago before any of this new information about season five actually came out. And in that last paragraph, the dude said the carriages, dead animals and horses talking about the saloon and pretty much the whole wild, wild west area. And recently there was a person by the name of Fort Risen on Twitter who actually found these three objects in the Fortnite game files and uh, that's right that's the freaking anchor man as you guys can see there is also a carriage and then one looks to be like dinosaur bones now I don't know about you guys but I do think this is extremely suspicious considering that the dude that made this other post talking about all of the new locations did all of this before we even knew about the carriage or the bones or the anchor let's Let's go ahead and continue though I'm sure there are still a lot of people that are not convinced and don't worry man we still got a lot more info to go the large soccer field will become the pyramids of Giza and the lion statue that is at the pyramids will be the sphinx the pyramids are accessible through every side and the top and blah 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 pretty much talking about the ancient Egypt area now I know what you guys are about to say and Creddy, you just showed us the three items that are gonna be coming out of the portals but none of the items were you know look 
like, uh, you know, ancient Egypt. Well, go ahead and take a step back and remember the uh, Playgrounds trailer that Epic Games re what, what was in that playground trailer? Pyramids and a freaking Sphinx, man. You gotta be kidding me. Like, this is too crazy to, to be a coincidence. Like, everything lining up, dude, this has to be real. Internet Adam goes on to say, Pirate's Point will replace Moisty Meyer. There will be pirate ships all on the sand and a pirate camp filled with decors, gold, skulls, cannons, and a cave you can enter and loot. All of the boats and the caves will have chests. Pirate's Point, a eh? Moisty Meyer, a eh? Yo, this literally all adds up. Like, I don't know if you guys are kind of connecting the dots, but first of all, the freaking anchor that is literally on the map right now most likely came from this place called Pirate's Point. And also, this may be a little off topic, but I do want to go ahead and make a point of this. Pirate's Point is supposedly going to be replacing Moisty Meyer. And if we look at all of the locations that, you know, got messed with in the game over the last couple of days, Moisty Meyer is not not one of the locations that actually had a pyramid but I don't know if you guys remember on the back of the detective back bling there is what is supposedly a leviathan footprint and uh, trees from moisty supposedly there was this crazy idea this crazy leak that said the leviathan was going to be attacking moisty it was gonna be some crazy game mode and to tie into that even more there was a post by Fortnite when the leviathan came back out into the item shop that had a freaking time warp rift behind the leviathan so i mean maybe this confirms that maybe this is real I don't know. And for the final update to the map in season five, Lucky Landing will be removed due to it being a seasonally themed location, which is a little odd considering Lucky Landing was more of a season three location. It is going to be replaced with Captive Castle, which is also a place that was in the playground trailer as well. A castle with walls around it. The castle has an armory with swords and stables, chest, ammo boxes, you know, the whole yada bang. Now, I don't I don't know if you guys are convinced i feel like all of the information that we've gone over in this video is pretty much conclusive like we are going to be getting all of these locations in season five the pirates the ancient egypt the dinosaurs like it's all going to be happening we're going to be getting a crazy time travel extravaganza man it, the map update is going to be insane one more thing i do want to go ahead and go over in this video though while we are discussing map updates yesterday a photographer by by the name of Sila Shaloni found this in the middle of the desert in California. It's the freaking Dirt Burger. This is the dude that got removed from Greasy. Like this was the guy that traveled through a teleporter out of Greasy and we have no idea where he is. He's in the freaking desert, man. I don't know if this correlates with the whole maybe desert map idea that's been going around ever since Fortnite first released. But hey, maybe around the world, maybe around the US, we can find the other pieces to the map, like the tomato head, the sign from Lonely, I don't know, maybe I'm reaching, but I think that would be super cool, and Epic Games would have to go down as the coolest developers ever if they made that happen, let's just be real. So that's gonna about do it for me, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video, like I said, I know there was so much information to go ahead and take in in a super little amount of time, but I really hope this video did prepare you guys for season five over the next couple of days i'm sure we are going to be seeing some more updates to the map regarding teasers also all of the items that i showed you guys earlier in the video they are definitely going to be popping up around the map over the next couple of days so stay tuned i will keep you guys posted on that whether it is a post on my channel or a video or even a live stream by the way we are going to be streaming tonight for the brand new oblivion the brand new female omega i am so freaking excited oh and and really quick before we do get out of here I do want to let you guys know that there was one more leak it didn't really tie into season 5 we don't really know when exactly this is going to be happening because it didn't happen for July 4th but in the coding Epic Games added these fireworks as well as a kind of like llama explosion and also you can see a regular explosion in the bottom left Epic Games added these into the files but never actually ended up using them so maybe we'll see them 
travel here in the next couple of days to celebrate season five who knows but nonetheless this was a crazy video and i know there was so much information and just thank you guys so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it i'll see everybody on the live stream a little bit later on this afternoon for the brand new skins but for right now i'm gonna go probably get a cheeseburger or some lunch or something man i'll, I'll see y'all later my name is critter lag and i'm out peace